All right, hello, hello. Uh, we're going to talk about our next assignment. It's called Reflection, a Handful of Lines. If we go to our amazing digital class or Google Classroom, there's a new assignment called Reflection, a Handful of Lines. Click on this. We open it up. It's got your work over here. You're just going to open up this doc and type right into this one. Okay. Uh, you're going to tell us three things about the personality adjectives. For each adjective, you did five adjectives, right? You've already sent me your amazing pictures of the five words and the line patterns you came up with for those words and your lovely hand drawing with all the line patterns inside. Okay, so now you're going to tell us about these words that you chose for yourself and about the line patterns that go with it. Okay, so. First, tell us why you chose that personality adjective for yourself. I'll show you an example. Then, please explain the line pattern. So, you, I'm going to tell you why I chose quiet, why that's about me, and then I'm going to tell you about why that line represents quiet to me. Finally, this is new, uh, tell us the name of the font, which is the lettering for that adjective, and why you feel that font could represent your personality adjective. Who knows what a font is? That's right, fonts like different lettering, okay? These are some different fonts. These are different fonts. When you choose your, in your documents, when you click and drag over your words, you can change all your fonts right here, okay? Arial may be the one that comes up at first, but then there's so many different fonts you can choose. Okay, some are big and fat, some are really thin, some are, <laughs> taller okay so we're gonna figure out about fonts today also let's listen to this they all have something to say beyond the words on the page they can come across as casual or neutral exotic or graphic that whoops okay so all these different kinds of fonts there's like i was saying thin ones these are like rounded, these are fancier, and these are like bumpy. Okay, you use different fonts for different reasons. Okay, so I want you to tell us about the name of the font. You can find that right up here. And then the lettering, why you feel that font could represent your personality adjective. Let's take a look at what I did. Oh, there's also this file, which is great, I think. Well, let's look at that next. Okay, let's go here. Uh, I'm going to show you my adjectives. Remember my words were visual, quiet, agile, make things organized. So right now they're in a view. Let's make them just a little bigger. Okay. Um, so now I want to try to come up with a different kind of font that represents these words. For example, let's try quiet. Quiet's pretty fun. Is this a quiet font? Seems kind of loud to me. Is this quiet? That's getting more quiet. What about, <laughs> I think I used something with a P, can't remember. So you're going to look through all your different fonts and figure out which one you think is quiet to you, okay? Um, if you want to get more fonts, you go here to more fonts. It's going to open up this, and then any one you click on, uh, rubric and all these different ones that you like, then you hit OK, and then they're going to show up here. So there'll be more fonts down here for you to choose from, if you don't like the ones you have already. OK? Um, ooh, look at that. That's kind of quiet. OK, but it's all caps, so maybe that's kind of loud for me. So you're going to go through and try to figure out which one is represents your kind of word. Organize might be more of like a, a square one for me. Let me see. I can't remember. I'm going to show you in a minute what I came up with, but do I remember? Think of it, maybe. Okay, but that's the same as quiet. All right, let's see what I came up with for examples. John, 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 John. Visual. So quiet I came up with. I think it's called Poppins. Oh, wait, I wrote down Poppins. Okay. Oh, but I can't eat. Oh, but you can't see. Okay. So it's called Poppins. And then Agile, I came up with this one. And then Make Things, it's actually a combination of different fonts, which is kind of fun. Oh, and then Organize, I came up with this, which is 
Orbitron. Was Orbitron over here? Let's go look. O O O L M N O Orbitron. I don't see it. Maybe it's in my different. Oh, it's part of a different uh, Gmail, so I don't have the same fonts. Um, but hopefully you can find some fonts. So for each one, uh, you're gonna say why you chose that word. Because I am organized. That's not great. Let's see. Quiet. Quiet. When I can, I try to be quiet and introverted to build back up the energy that I need to be a teacher, father, husband, friend. Okay, so telling us why you feel that word represents you. And do it all in the same font. So if you choose Poppins, do this whole paragraph in the same font. The line I designed for quiet is thin and straight, long and elegant, not much happening. If you remember that picture, thin and straight, okay, not much happening. Uh, and then tell us about the font. I chose the font Poppins. Again, you can get the name of the fonts from up here. Okay, Abril Face. I chose the font Poppins to represent quiet because it looks very clean and simple with a gentle combination of curves and straight lines. Okay, so tell us why you think that font represents that word. Okay, I did the same for Agile. I told you why I like, why I think I'm Agile. And then the type of line I used. And then I chose the font Pacifico because it looks very lively and flowing. Okay, so you're going to do that for all five of your words. Tell us why you chose it, explain your line pattern, and then tell us the name of the font and why do you feel it represents that adjective. Okay, I made some spaces for adjective one, two, three, four, and five. You can just start typing right in here, Q-U-I-E-T, and then tell us all your sentences and make sure you figure out which font that's not quiet. This one's more quiet, I think. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. So this is what it's going to kind of look like at the end. Five different paragraphs of three sentences, all in different fonts. The fonts represent the line. Because fonts are kind of like lines. We're studying lines. So these are like straight lines. These are lines all over the place. These are flowing lines. These are really thin and elegant lines. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Let me know if it doesn't, okay? Good luck. Bye-bye. Okay, I forgot to tell you something. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. When you finish, you filled in your five personality adjectives in their sp specific fonts, and you told us all about them. When you're done, when you're done, you can come here, hit turn in, or you can come back here, and you can hit turn in. Hit it twice. I know it's hard to remember. Turn in, turn in, and then instead of assigned, it'll say turned in. Jun, 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 and then you're all done. Okay. Yay, you did it. Okay. I'll see you next time. Good job.